What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Bro Man from the Fifth Floor, bringing you another episode of the Just Co Pod alongside the lovely, the stylish local. And today, we have, as you can tell by the feet, somebody who don't fuck around with their feet, okay? <laughs> we don't fuck around with the feet. If you ha- Those are the shoes right there. I'm sorry, we, ha- we have to get a shoes a moment because we had a moment it's outside a talking about these shoes, all right? Those right there, you <laughs> had to really be outside. Now tell me, was your boyfriend a drug dealer at the time? No, I paid for these myself. So you were from a credit ba- card from scammer? Barney's. Yeah, look at- <laughs> from Barney's. Okay, I- so you're a queen pin. No, I was I was working really, really hard at that time. I'm in your business. <laughs> yeah, you are. It's okay, though. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies yes, and gentlemen, we have cool. none other than Dom Dot Doll in the yes. building. Oh my God! Thank you for coming here with us. No problem. No you feel problem. me? Um, I probably you probably saw the post. Mad people. T- you need sending it to my DM. You need Dom. Yes. You need yes. Dom. You need Dom. Yeah, a few people tagged me, and I'm like, wait, what is this? And then I looked. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. so funny because then, like, right before that, we went to the sneaker ball, and yeah, yeah, that's yeah. where yes. I met her. That's I we, know we, we, you knew her already, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I had met her. He didn't recognize me though. I did not. I did not. I did not because you. Do I had no? It's because when you met me, you look like a Puerto Rican handball player. Not a, when you <laughs> met me <laughs> at the um. Oh yeah, because I had on a fitted. She yeah, had on a fitted, I had, like, and my hair was dark. Remember, exactly. I had blonde okay, hair. Yeah, so blonde that hair. yeah, okay. Fair so enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay, and I'm Puerto Rican, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> the handball play is crazy. The handball is crazy. <laughs> but anyway, so I, I I DM'd you, right? Yes. I did. Yeah. I DM'd her. Because it's so funny. Like, after Sneaker Ball, we started following each other. Then you mm-hmm. made that post. Everything just happened the way it was supposed to happen. Yeah. And I really love that for me right now because, and us, because I just feel like everything is just falling into place. Like, things just always, like, the dots connect themselves. Yeah, it was when they're supposed to. to. Yeah. yeah. And also, we, like, we need a more feminine energy on the on the. On the podcast. I love that. We did that. Uh, it was just a lot of guys. And no shade to the guys. I love y'all. I do. But I need another woman. Yeah, and that's <laughs> that's interesting because you would expect it to be oh, yeah. more you women. Would, you would expect it. Yeah. But it's a little harder getting in touch with the women. Not gotcha. gonna lie to you. Very hard. It's it's pretty difficult. I know a lot of people like have a lot of followers, so they may not be able to get to their DMs or whatever the case may be. Or some people just, you know, may not be interested. Or, right. You know. They may so, not, whatever the case is, but it's definitely harder than the guys. Are like, what up? Wait, you need me to be here? Yeah, no, what's here? Time? <laughs> what I gotta what wear? What what is, what? <laughs> they ready? <laughs> so I'm so happy that you came to the show. Yeah, and of I'm course. super excited. To I'm happy to I'm here too. Yes. Okay, so as a leader of a criminal enterprise, <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> <waiting. laughs> he's, he's the worst. worst. He's the worst. No, 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 no. But for real, um. Over the past couple of years, we've seen like women come to the focal point of the sneaker culture, and like I feel like we've seen so much. Like, just was it? Is it? Did it drop already? The 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 green three. It's like a that that. Oh, um, Nina Nina Chanel. Yes. Um, I, uh, I don't think three? it didn't drop yet. It's, a, it's but a three. it's threes, it's right? Okay, three. mm-hmm. green threes. You feel me? And that is a woman for the people who do not know mm-hmm. very with dope a too. a very dope. Mm-hmm. With her own colorway on a pair of Jordans, and not just any Jordans. This is a number Jordan, a uh, a very yeah. ranked number Jordan. I love the threes. Mm-hmm. Actually, the th- I hate those are my favorites. very those are my least favorite three. <gasps> favorite no, of Jordans. Are you I never, serious? I was wow. never a fan of the threes. I got the b- threes were my first pair of Jordans. It was so bad. My first pair were the um Bugs Bunnies, Bugs Bunny eights. Okay, that's fair. So I have. I got the Black Cat 3s. Excuse me, Black Cat 3s. Cement 3s. Mm-hmm. Mm. Love them. Out of spite because everybody in New York, I was living down in Houston at the time, okay. and everybody in New York could not get them. And I literally walked into the store in Texas and it's like, I got a 13? It was like, yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> they about to hang me in Houston. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> and, yeah. and on top of that, you you have a bigger size. So if, yeah. that's yeah. actually the hard. I don't know why people think that that's actually harder. But it's just that Houston wasn't on the type of time that we yeah. were. Yeah. Excuse me? So they yeah, were maybe that's what it was. No, no, they, for. they're on it more than y'all. So how the hell you was able to get those? Down south, they went. Hold on, hold really? on. Whoa, 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 whoa. You gotta remember. For a point in time, Jordans died down in New York. Don't get this twisted. From 2009, what year did I get into high school? 2010. (laughs) 2010. 
You was already a full blown adult. 2010. <laughs> <laughs> Stay in your lane. She over there looking like 2010. I was on my masters, but uh. <laughs> I'm going to fight you. <laughs> 2010. Jordans took a serious decline. They were on a decline at a point in time because I remember my man Steph came with the white and blue Dub Zeros, and I'm like. Dub Zeros. Mm. I name? always, I always like Dub Zeros. Zeros though. I love the Dub Zeros. I had them, but I feel like 2010. That was when, like, now we going into like ice cream era, mm. Creative Rex, mm. and, and all that. If other you're from stuff. the hub, we was on Pradas. Yeah, and Louis. We was. This is when. We, this is the year my generation, our generation, got into designer shoes. Yeah, that was like the monogram era. Yeah, Everything this is the mon- this was, is heavy monogram yeah. era. You feel me? So Jordans was taking a serious back seat. So. 2000, excuse me, I said 2010, 2006, 2006 yeah. to, through 2010, mm-hmm. pardon me, 2006 to, to, through 2010, Jordan had took like a, sort of like a back seat, and it wasn't until the Wiz Khalifa era came into play, that 2010 and onward with the Jordan 1s, when Kanye like said, I'm going to do St. Laurent pants with okay. Jordan 1s, okay. and then everybody started shifting their, their, their point down, but in Texas... They were wearing Jordan. That's all they knew. They weren't wearing Pradas. They weren't mm-hmm. wearing Louis. They weren't wearing things of that nature. Do- okay. Down south, when Jordans drop, I would on my campus, they will come with the sneakers, socks, shorts, shirt, hoodie, headband, book bag for those J's. That's Lie crazy. to me. If you went to Texas Southern <laughs> University, DeAndre, I'm on your ass, boy. <laughs> You know I'm not lying. <laughs> Carolina, I'm on your ass, boy. Y'all know I'm not lying. They did the, the entire the entire head I to toe. I believe you. I believe. But you. that's their thing. That's yeah. their swag. You feel me? Do your thing. I mean, you see now they wearing like cartoon jackets and shit. That's what they do down there. Interesting. What was that brand? Lot Twenty Nine. Not even. Oh the- my God! Yes, I remember that. <laughs> Lot Twenty Nine. Damn, that was a- with the Bugs Bunny on oh, the jeans. With the Bugs Bunny. Nah, these niggas you remember out here Bugs Bunny? Martin. I remember though where it was like a bunch of graffiti, like Bugs Bunny, yeah. everything. Yeah, it, but- they was wilding. <laughs> I think that was like a playoff for the iceberg. Grown ass men wearing Tweety yeah. Bird on their shirt. Just I mean, come on, iceberg. Jacket. No, for real. No, Moschino. But, yes, yeah. but iceberg definitely did it. I feel like in a slightly different way okay. that felt a little bit cooler oh, in my yeah, because personal I, opinion. I feel like it was less but, color too. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like it was always yeah. like that signature gray, light blue, yeah, white. Yeah, very, you know? very dull colors. But excuse me, back to the topic at hand. Please, please. Um, yes. <laughs> Tangent. Regular. Um, you're seeing a lot of female sneakerheads come into the focal point and how do you feel about that? Um, I think that it kind of goes hand in hand with the whole tomboy chic okay. thing. Ooh, I don't think it's really a happening. sneaker yeah. thing. I think okay. it's an aesthetic thing in general. Oh. Um, and I think to complete that whole tomboy chic look, you need a sneaker. You got to wear some fire So they kicks. faking it. I, I look, if I if I'm being bit. super transparent, no, I feel like a lot of it sometimes. Okay. I'm, mm. I'm going to be very honest. Brain, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> no, because I, I see it all the time where like I've had these conversations with people who I've known for years Mm -hmm. have been into kicks specifically women and we see like a lot of influencers beauty influencers hair influencers suddenly Mm -hmm. promoting footwear Mm -hmm. promoting kicks not just shoes like they're promoting sneakers and it's like wait Mm -hmm. where were you when we were doing this before you know it's very funny you say that because it's something that I've noticed in the like past maybe like year, year and a half, right? That a lot of influencers have been on a sneaker game. But the thing about it is, is that there are some who've been doing this like uh, mm-hmm. Notorious Kia, right? Like, I don't know if you're familiar with her. I've been watching her for years. She's a sneaker girl, sneaker head. Mm-hmm. But then I've seen other women who... And it's like not to say that you can't elevate and decide that you want to try something new, right? Mm-hmm. Because that's what fashion is about. It's about experimenting. But at the same time, I've realized that it just... It doesn't feel authentic to me in some ways when it's done. And then also, I've noticed that some people just, they don't look comfortable, but they're right. trying to make it work for, you know, whether it's the views or maybe the sponsorship or whatever it is. And so that's the part that was like a disconnect for me. But I have noticed mm-hmm. like a lot of influencers definitely like wearing sneakers now. I think that that's where people kind of misutilize their platform though, mm. right? Because it's okay to want to get into something new, but I feel like, for example, let's say I was someone who was into beauty or other things outside of sneakers, mm-hmm. and this is a lane I want to get into. I'm going to use my platform because I have the following 
to say like, hey guys, I'm noticing a lot of things going on in this trend. Where are my true women that are into kicks? I want to tap in with you guys. Mm -hmm. And then y'all work on mm -hmm. something from there. Right, As like opposed to coming in and then you're just getting, you're getting free kicks. Mm -hmm. You're using the people you know. Mm -hmm. So, and you're posting these things like as if this is you, but you know it's not you. That's a very valid point. So it's more so if you guys want them to pay homage. It's more of a pay homage kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, I mean, one thing about, I can't speak for everyone, mm -hmm. um, but I don't expect anything from anyone. Okay. You know, I do this because this is what I love to do. Mm -hmm. I, get, I choose to give credit to certain people right. when where I see credit is due. If someone else doesn't do it, that's on them. But I feel like, you know, like it, like anything else... There's there's people who have done it before you. Four, it's no four, different four. than like when you have music artists mm -hmm. paying homage to okay. people from back in the day that right. they're inspired by. I feel like it's the same thing. Got you, got you. Now, damn, I was just it was oh god, it was just on my brain the question that I had to ask you. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh well, my God, this thing was right there on my brain. I hate when I get that brain freeze. Well, while you figure it out, I do want to know where you like, when did you get into sneakers? Like, what is the first sneaker that you purchased? Let's start there. Um, So my mom has always been into fashion. My dad too. Like he's, it's so funny, he's a Libra. He's always trying to flex, <laughs> Um, but he's always been into like clothes and my mom too. I've gotten a lot of like my inspiration from my mother. Okay. She used to buy my clothes all the time. Um, When I started, I started working at like 15 or 16 and that's when I was in high school and I started going to Soho a lot. Oh, yes. So that's when I started buying my own kicks. Mm -hmm. um, at that time, I was very, very interested in like ice creams mm -hmm. and yeah. blazers and SBs, all that stuff. So yes. I used to go to Days Quality, me, Michael K. Yeah. Oh, Michael places, K. Places, <laughs> places like that. We used to talk about, yeah, we used to talk about had the conversation <laughs> before. Um, I've worked at old Michael K locations. <laughs> yeah, we've Did had this. Yes. That's crazy. I didn't know that. Very crazy. That's not funny. Yeah. That, no, I, I was like, really? Mm -hmm. I didn't, he told me about locations oh, I didn't right. even know You about. had to be fun. No, after not a point in time. Point. You have to be. I ain't gonna hold you. The main point. Michael K location, like the, the the when it was only one. I think at a point in time it might have only just been one. That was in like two thousand. That's when I was still in high school. Like everybody in there was beautiful. Like y'all don't remember walking no, in there. You had like to, the I music feel like was. I had to be good. It, it was like to work in Michael K though, because every time I went to Michael K, everyone was aesthetically pleasing. It was like Abercrombie like, for niggas. You. I'm not gonna lie though. I feel like that's that was a whole era too, because I feel like anywhere in Soho yes, where you, you had went to, to look stores a that way. you had to look a certain way. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you actually a fact. I remember the, yeah. they had the eggplant foam. Nigga, I walked mm -hmm. in there, son had the eggplant foams on. I'm like. Yeah. And this is when nobody was even rocking phones. Right. And I'm like, oh, wow. That's tough. They don't even know what this is. They're clowning phones. We didn't get onto phones until year After. two later. See? I'm yeah. like, that's crazy. Michael K was definitely... Michael K, like, does it... Do they... They gonna have to do a documentary on that. Like, that was like a they real... should. Like, they have to really? do... A, like, a, yeah, they gotta be... That was like the epicenter of Soho. Where else no, you? I like, mean, yeah, yeah, because like you said, you when you started to go, go into Soho, that's when I started going to Soho in high school. That's how I learned about everything. Yeah, like Kid Robot, yeah. oh BBC, my God. all that stuff. The original and, BBC store. And I used to be fascinated with those brands because I was, uh, as an artist, I was also into art. Into they, these design. brands had characters mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. their brand. And yeah. to me, I'm like, oh, this is dope. That's dope. Like they have collectibles and, art, yeah. and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. I, I continue to start, I started collecting sneakers then, um, but then I went to college in DC. Okay. So you was never yeah. going for like the hype beast colorways. It was no, like, I like, I like what I like. I like, what and I'm I like. Make like it my I own. literally had like a pair of blazers. I'll never forget these. Um I had got my mom got them from Marshalls and they were like Argyle print. Oh I think that's I remember dope, those. Though. With a hot pink swoosh. Like oh, you oh, was a yes. shotter. You got a little bit of Jamaican in you. <laughs> Not a shotter. <laughs> she was a shotter. <laughs> no, but I used to like I, I like what I like. It was no, never for me it was way, never like yeah. a hype beast thing. Like this is what I'm into. Yeah. Um and then when I was in college, I started my friends used to be like, yo, you should draw mm -hmm. on like I started drawing on Tim's. Oh really? That's what I started with. Yeah. I saw you post the pair that yeah, you Yeah, I started yeah. drawing on Tim's. Um one day my friend had a pair of Tim's and she was like, yo, just draw whatever with the marker. Mm. And she was like, You need to sell this. And I'm like, okay. And I started drawing on Tim's. Then I started doing my research. Cause I'm one of those people, like, if I'm gonna do it, you're gonna do it right. We're gonna do it right. Okay. Yeah. Um, 
because I think about like all the what ifs, like, oh, what if the marker bleeds and mm. stuff mm-hmm. like that. So I started looking into like Angeles Direct. I started going to wardrobe supplies in the city mm-hmm. to get the right paint. And that's when I started okay. customizing sneakers. Oh. So it was like bigger than just me wearing sneakers. Right. Like it became like a real thing for me. So I want to tap in with you because uh, DC is like my second home. You feel me? DC is like mm-hmm. my second home. I love DC. So is it fair to say that DC probably has the most unique style out of any city in America. I was there from 2010 to 2013. I left Howard my junior year. Okay. Um, it's different. That was. I like, don't. I don't like that different. <laughs> I don't like, like the way you said different. I'm not gonna lie. Back then, like they would have like black jeans with the rip at the knee with some New Balance, that was nine, nine, skinny jeans with the nine nineties. Yeah. That's where I learned about nine nineties. Yeah, no, yeah, that that 990s, was nine nineties, nine nine threes. That's where I learned mm-hmm. about. It that was really a thing. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's it's different. Um, I tap, I did tap into like a different style while I was there. Um, with some Soul Beato? Nah, like I used to wear like I used to go thrifting a lot. In DC, in DC, oh. um, oh, I would I would go to I would go to um I would go to Maryland. Oh, okay. Like uh, we would go like on road trips and stuff, but they had thrift stores in DC, like big ones. Okay. And I would thrift a lot, so I would wear like combat boots with oh. denim shorts and that was oversized shirt. That was like that when I and when back I then I had my head shaved. <laughs> I had both sides of my head shaved. Like I that, had a mohawk. That's, like that you know, I was going very... through. Little... <laughs> but I still was wearing sneakers. Yeah. Um, I didn't see a lot of people like my, on campus. The girls at my school used to, uh, at my college used to wear heels. The class. I mean, it's Howard. Oh, it is yeah. the you know Howard what? University. Yeah, that, that, that was a thing. Yeah, um, that, that was a thing. But sure. yeah, the style, the style is different. DC, DC. They have the reason why I love DC is because they don't conform to anything anybody else is doing. I can see that mm-hmm. they don't do they any. Don't care, huh? They don't do anything. They don't care what New York got going on. They don't care what style, what trend is in. Mm-hmm. They do them like. We gonna do this, and this yeah. is our thing. <laughs> this is our thing. This is, and this is how we just gonna rock it. They, of course, they of course they do the typical, you know, like um, you go out there see Montclair. Matter of fact, you really want. I would see that in Baltimore. See, Baltimore mm-hmm. would try to keep up more okay. with what New York is doing. Philly would try to keep up more with what New York is doing. All those other things, like outside of Jersey, Jersey, they're going to stay tacky forever. Jersey's different. Jersey, they're going to stay tacky. Jersey, yeah. Jersey they are. I, that's Jersey one thing I respect different. about Jersey, too. That no matter <laughs> how <don't> close <laughs> they, they are to care. New York, <laughs> those care. hillbillies will not leave their no, fucking I'm not clothes alone. Lie. I know when somebody's from Jersey right off the back. And I'm not talking you about you moved tell. to Jersey. I'm talking about you're from yeah. Jersey. I know when you're... Yeah. They, listen, tell. I know you're from... <laughs> it's a little you, obvious. They refuse to... They will never... They are literally across the water from us. You are a tunnel, a bridge away, away. from us. And they refuse to adapt to our style. No, for they real. Are they are going to care. dress like they it's 2002 till Every the day time. they die. And I respect Every you, Jersey. No, they'll come to Shout the, out to They'll come to the city and shop in pajama pants. <laughs> yeah. With an oversized hoodie. That is such a jersey thing. And leave out of Burlington oh, with some shit. God. Like, I done did it. He's about to put that shit on. I done huh? did it. Get some Robin did Jeans. Big one I done did it. And I, just be, and, I'm a, and I just be sitting there like. He said Robin Jeans. <laughs> y'all are intriguing. Yo. I, Robins are crazy. I am yeah. intrigued. I heard somebody wear Robins in a very They have a Robin Jeans store still you, in Jersey. Yes, you were the one who told me that crazy. they still have a Robin store. I they had a shocked. Robin that, store. That was a thing. That was a thing. That, that was, was a, a time. But that it's was still a, time. a thing for them. And yeah. I love y'all for that. I mean, to be fair, I still have a pair of my tabs. I have all my old jeans. Listen, I have all my don't old get jeans. rid of them. I'm not. Don't get rid of I'm not. My, my antiques and everything. I still got my. I back mine out. I don't know don't if I could fit them. mine anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I was like real. I was you like know, a size it's just zero, for, and it's, it's for two collectors' purposes. Back then, yeah. It. <laughs> so, what is your what is your favorite thing about the sneaker game? Um, I don't know if I have a favorite, but maybe I'll say top three things about the sneaker game is um, it's evolution. Mm. Okay. I feel like that's dope. Like it's really something in history. Like mm. just from seeing how something starts to where it is now, mm-hmm. you can't say that about everything. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So the fact that you can say that about footwear is like right. insane to me. Yeah. Um, I would say the role that women now play Ooh. in the sneaker game. Um, That's a good one. in terms of like just their presence, 
I feel like they get a lot more recogni- recognition now. Mm-hmm. And I would say a third, just coming from an artistic standpoint and cre- as a creative, mm-hmm. um, just the role they play like in me producing art. Because mm-hmm. I would never, I would have never thought like when I was younger that I'd be using footwear or any clothing, sneakers, anything to create art. Wow. I never saw myself doing that. Painting, yeah. Drawing, yeah. But mm-hmm. doing it on, like on sleep, yeah. It I on, never saw myself yeah. doing that. Who would you say is the leading catalyst for this movement? In the, like, who is the godmother of the sneaker culture? And Ooh. there's only one right answer. That's a good question. There's only one right answer. I know what answer you want me to say. There's only one right answer. Oh, yeah. I forgot you was there. Yeah. I, like, I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I don't want to hear this. I don't want to hear it. I want to hear it. Well, I forgot you, you was there. I forgot you was there. There's only one right answer, but but I don't know if that's going to be my answer. I really okay. have to think about this. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I think Tiana Taylor did. Thank you. Pay oh, I know. Oh, okay, I should have known that. Thank that's you. what the hell he wanted you to say. <laughs> but I, I do feel like there were women before Tiana that just didn't get recognized. Yeah, who didn't have the exposure. The, and it's I, always I like that. that They're always the pioneers and the people who started this mm-hmm. and then someone else comes along with more exposure and it seems like they are the ones who, you know, started yeah. the movement, but they really didn't. But in all fairness... In all fairness what? In all fairness, does her... And I feel like in Tiana's case, her style was her exposure. I want it, to... It, how, how do I, how do I want to word this properly? I want to say it wasn't like there's Tiana Taylor. Mm-hmm. Oh, and she wears kicks. It's like, oh, she got all those kicks. Who is that? Oh, her name's Tiana Taylor. Hi, can I have, I have a question? Yeah. Now, if you ask Tiana the same question as you just asked Dom, Tiana's going to give you another person. She's, She's going to give you somebody myself. who came before that her. That would be blasphemy, and I won't allow her to do <laughs> such a thing. <laughs> no, you I, see what I'm saying? So I it's agree. like. It's, I understand though. It's, you feel that way about her, but who was it before her that inspired I get, her? I feel like it, and it inspired, inspired, her, inspiration. inspired her. So it's, you know, it's from, it's, you got to think about it from that standpoint. Yeah, because I look at people like June Ambrose. Okay. A we, fact. June a Ambrose. Fact. She, June is one of my favorite people. She's a fashion icon to me. Period. You know what I'm saying? And with that, it came with her wearing a lot of sneakers okay. too. Okay. Mm-hmm. But because of she's more seen as like a stylist, a director, yeah. and things like that, mm-hmm. I feel like see that side. people don't pay attention to mm-hmm. that. Okay. I mm-hmm. think, um, I also think the timing of everything is a big thing too. Yeah. You know, like Tiana Taylor, when she came out on My Sweet 16, mm-hmm. that was a whole era of that was like ice cream time. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know what I'm that saying? So time, people yeah. are paying attention to that because mm-hmm. that was relevant at that time. Yeah. So, like, I, I do agree with Ashley, like, when. They, they, I don't see her saying like, oh, it was, it's, it's me. me. Like, yeah. you know, like there's going to yeah. be someone before you. So that's Absolutely. why I said, like, I understand why you say that. Absolutely. But I, I wouldn't say she's like the, the main. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. You know, and exactly. obviously we, ha- we have to give Tiana her credit. Yeah, of course. Right? Because, Absolutely. Like, it's, <laughs> Absolutely. It's just Tiana. Like, we just she, have to. The Every style episode. is impeccable. She, she yeah. does what needs to be done. Every more, more, time. more. Like, I'm more, never going to. More. <laughs> no, I can. Put some more on it. <laughs> discredit your girl. Thank I can't. you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I, I agree on, but, I agree on that know, thousand percent. I would love to hear Tiana's answer, to be quite yeah, honest. That's actually, that that's, would that's, be such an interesting, like, you know, just thing to hear. Like, what would she say? Because also, depending on where you're from, right? Like, we're from Brooklyn. You're from the Bronx. She's from Harlem. We all would have possibly a different answer. Mm-hmm. I didn't even know y'all had shoes in the Bronx, <laughs> to be quite honest. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was crazy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yo, you... Because we're not going to act like Fat Joe stopped. wasn't always into kicks. I'm you sorry. Need to be Let's stopped. not I'm do sorry. that. At I'm some so- point in time, <laughs> you have to be stopped. We did not know. <laughs> Here in Brooklyn, we I, did not I'm know. Not, that was I'm not in the Bronx. Like, I thought they I'm walked around on Broadway. Ignore him. Ignore him because he's playing the, in your face. Mind you, the name of the shoe is literally nicknamed Uptowns. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that because we because we can say a few things about Brooklyn, but no, I'm no, not no, going no. to. Ooh, child. Call Hoons. <laughs> I'm not going to because y'all was getting kicks, but they was coming from Fulton, so I don't know if they were oh, legit or not. Oh, and y'all just was coming from Fordham. Just saying. Just saying. Y'all was coming from Fordham. Just saying. So that, that, I mean, we're going to call a spade a spade then. <laughs> Period. <laughs> no, but what was it? All jokes aside, what was the sneaker culture like in the Bronx? Because you know, like, every borough, and, and man, Harlem is not a borough, but every sub-borough, mm. I will call Harlem, had their, had their like, their 
their thing, that like their, their niche. Yeah. So I'm, the, I'm not going to lie. Like, y'all can say what y'all want about the Bronx, but Spanish people do not play about their Jordans. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know that's a fact. We know that. We yeah, ain't going to play about fact. that. I went yeah. to, so I went to a Catholic school my entire life. Oh, like, wow. Like, through okay. elementary school and for high school, I went to an all-girls Catholic school. Oh, wow. wow. And um, the only time we could wear sneakers was Casual for gym. Oh, yeah. gym, damn. So they that was a, no, but, but that was a thing. Oh yeah, and like when, when we had dress down, uh-huh. but that wasn't all the time. Gotcha. So you was backing out your best pair for gym. Oh yeah, like <laughs> okay. he, um, it was really a thing where That's like weird. you had to like really yeah. show out for I gym, and you only had gym once a week. <laughs> that was prime time. No, for y'all. That, that was really a thing. Fashion I like, show. believe that. That's no, but like time. yeah, like when the snakeskin elevens, okay. like all that stuff, mm-hmm. like space chances, all that stuff, like yeah. that was. Yeah, so I'm going to say Jordans was a big thing and Air Forces too. Air Forces was a Definitely big thing for y'all up there. Yeah. Did y'all ever get into like the Prada culture, the Louis culture? Yeah. Oh, y'all got it? Okay, Yeah, cool. like for sure. I'll never forget. <laughs> I used to date some Dominican boy. Oh my God. <laughs> His name was Alex. I'll never forget Oh this. yeah, Alex. Dímelo. Nah, I think he's in DR. I don't even know where he at right now. <laughs> now but, he's back in DR. But I'll never forget, Um, he bought me my first pair of Pradas. Shout out to Alex. About this kingpin now. He, he <laughs> I told me, you. No, but I, this is what's so crazy. So y'all know how 42nd used to be a thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it was me, my best friend, and she used to date his best friend. And we went out. We, I think we were going to the movies or something mm-hmm. on 42nd. And mm-hmm. we walked past the Skechers store. He was like, you oh. like those? And I looked at him like, don't play with me. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> like, and That's like, I want to say like a week later, he came when I was meeting up with him. He came with a Skechers bag. With the Protestant inside. And it had the Protestant My inside. man. Oh. Shouts out to you, Alex. Wherever you at. Yeah. Shouts like, out to thank you. you that was, y'all that was still have them. They were yellow. But y'all not going to believe where I got my other pair of Protestants from. And I'm not making this up. Atlantis? No. Oh, where? From TJ Maxx. You know what? No, I believe you. I fully believe you. Because before, a lot of people knew they always had a runway collection, right? And yeah. before the runway yep. collection, you could always find like little random mm-hmm. things. And I'm talking about always. this is when I was a teenager. Yeah. Like this is not even like yeah. now. Because I feel like they, their runway collection now has expanded. Like, Absolutely. TJ oh, yeah. Maxx is a yeah. whole nother world now. But it's different. back then, yeah, I bought, it was like That's a magenta crazy. pink pair. Ooh. Fire. Pat leather? No, leather. I was about to, okay, I was um, about to say my sister had those. I'll show y'all later. I still have photos uh, of everything, and I still have them. And yeah, I got them right from TJ Maxx. I fully believe that. So now that we're on the conversation about Pradas, we could bring this all, wrap this all into one now. How does you feel about like seeing the reemergence of sneakers, of certain styles and certain sneakers? So not even specifically Pradas, but like- Like you, reissues, you mean? No, no, not or even like, like, not even reissues, reissues just like you can- I backed out my Dub Zeros maybe about two years ago, and my gram went crazy. Mm. But I'm pretty sure if I would have backed them out five years ago, they Would've probably looked at me like I'm bugging. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's like this. It's like a, it's like it's. It's, I don't, I don't. It's like the universe sets its own trend or something like that, and it, it, it like we. It, I don't know how things dictate how shit get hot, but I feel like I, I wore them in a time when everybody was trying to retro and bring back a lot of yes, retro things. Yes. Just okay, like how now, like you see with Ed Hardy suits, like we made Y, they made Y two K a thing because the kids didn't, the, the mm-hmm. kids now didn't grow up in Y two K, so yeah. they're mm-hmm. stealing our trends. So now we have grown full back adults. Back in We're there. back in yes. Ed Hardy things. Mm-hmm. I think um, I'm not surprised because like history always repeats itself. Very much yeah. so. But I think it depends on the person too. Very much so. I say that because you could have put it on five years ago and someone who really knows about kicks and really appreciates sneakers mm-hmm. would have gave you the same appreciation that you're getting now for putting okay. them on. Mm-hmm. You right. know what not I mean? The general so, population is not going to give you that. Right. But somebody yeah. else who really exactly. Knows. Yeah. I always like the. I feel like real. I feel like all sneakerheads like really appreciate the if you know you know kind of yeah, factor with certain mm-hmm. things. Like when we was in the um at the sneaker bowl. Shout out to Wale. Um, yeah. The old boy who had on the 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 Reeboks, but oh, nobody yes, knew. Yes, yes. They were Marge. They were Margella oh, Reeboks. The tabby. Yeah. No, no, they weren't Tabby. They weren't Which the Tabby one? one. The ripped ones. Oh, the, 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 weren't those like the AI? I, the, the AI the ones, AIs, yeah. yeah. But they didn't tabby those. But, but yeah, no, yeah. So nobody would even know. I love those. Yeah, I love them. And I said, yo, they don't even know what you got on. Mm-hmm. Boy was so elated. I got, <laughs> he was so, he was like, yo, sir, 
because no, it was like yeah, somebody that's, understood so, his yeah, vision. You got because it. Because I it. love what I have on certain things and people be like, hey, mm-hmm. hey, and I'm, mm-hmm. hey, I had on a pair of, <laughs> I, 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 I think right. I talked about this on the episode, I had on a pair of Ricks one day and my man, he was like, those pair, that's from, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. And we had that moment, that telepathy, you feel me, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. We was there with it where you understood. So I feel like that's like one big thing in the sneaker community. I feel like, the, what brand could I say was one of, I would definitely say Days Quality Meets was king of that. That was my favorite. That was the you know, spot, I, yo. I never, I never you, been there. You never been there? I never been there. It's but like, the thing oh. about it is that like I didn't get into sneakers until... I want to say maybe 2018, 2019, because okay. I was dating a sneakerhead. Man, he he was older than though. me. And on top of that, he was collecting sneakers for like 15 years. Okay. So like he's really who put me on. And it started out with him just like sending me pictures of stuff that he was going to get. Like, what you think about this? What you think about this? And then gotcha. I, on my own, just started looking at sneakers. And then that's kind of like how I got into sneakers. So I started buying like, you know, my little ones and my Air Maxes mm-hmm. and whatever. But right now my once list on Ghost is Ghost. Goat. <laughs> it's mad long. But yeah, that's how I got into sneakers. Because before, I was the girl who had mad heels and a pair of sneakers for the gym. And I want other pair of sneakers. Like, if I just needed to do something, I Running wanted to around. dress down. I didn't have sneakers. So now, I actually have sneakers. And I fuck with sneakers. I love them. But the thing about it is, is what I get what you're saying when we were talking about it before. About, like, people who typically don't wear sneakers. Like, wearing them now. Like, when it comes to, like, mm-hmm. you know, trying to style them. I realized that I have the type of style that I could, you know, like I could go back and forth with it. Like whatever I'm wearing with my heels, I could actually put on my sneakers with that as well. So for me, it feels comfortable and I don't feel like I'm trying too hard. It feels like just like a natural progression of my style. Mm -hmm. But I really know women who be like, I don't, I can't wear sneakers. (laughs) Yeah, no, yeah. I have friends like that. My my best friend is the complete opposite of me. Mm -hmm. Like to the T and- It's funny because, um, like, when she does buy sneakers, she asks me first. She's like, she's like, is this a cool one? Is this, this a nice cool. one? And, and I'm like, no, nah, you I can get that, that one. You can get that she one. And she gets so excited. Person. Like, she'll call me. She's like, I, I bought my first pair of dunks. I yeah. bought <laughs> so, but it's funny because I've also always been into heels. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's, it's, cool. it's funny because I get it. Because then when people see me dress up, mm-hmm. they're like, you look like a completely different person. Right. And I'm like, no, it's always, I just like sneakers more. So I guess it's kind of like the same yeah, thing. It's the same like, thing. Yeah. It's the opposite. Yeah. Yeah, Which that, is dope. Those was, was, was a good time. <laughs> yeah, I love Days Quality Me. Like, it was just the aesthetic yeah. of it alone. I'm very big on presentation, like mm-hmm. with anything. I'm so big on presentation with and just shop. like the whole concept of it. I was do have fire. a question. Okay, we're going to go back to Soho real quick, right? Do you remember Sugar Sneakers? Am I the only person who remembers Sugar like Sneakers? Like the actual brand, Sugar. Yeah, and they had the pointed sneakers that like like Converse. But yeah, pointed. yeah. Okay, I, I remember that. I that was used like that was like um that was sneakers. like Melissa era. Yes, yes, I remember yes. that. I had mm-hmm. a hot pink pair with a skull on the side. Yeah, those were cute, side. and it's crazy because now they're bringing out shoes that look like that. Yo, it's insane. When yeah. I say I used to love those damn sneakers, wore them into the ground. I, I knew people, you were looking it up. I see you in the corner. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, he's looking at sugar people sneakers. People used to look at me crazy, like, what's on her feet? Yeah, no, like, I remember what? that. There was but another. There was another brand that did that too, nah, but and I can't it. remember what it was. All I can think of is sugar. <laughs> they not coming to me. It was, no, not, the brand itself is called Sugar. Yeah, uh, it's and like that, the, you know what I used to sell them? Yellow Rat Bastard. Yes. Oh my God, mm-hmm. Yellow Rat Bastard oh, was another wow. spy in Soho that I, I used to fuck with. I forgot about heavy. Yellow Rat Bastard. Yes. That's, old, yep. that's good Soho. That's a days. vintage store yeah, now. If now I'm not they're mistaken. taking no shirts, putting them in Urban Outfitters, Child. and selling them for like sixty eight dollars. Oh, okay. Because oh, Urban is good for that. God. Urban is good for that. Yellow Rat Bastard. That was my spot. I used to get all my graphic tees from there. Yes. Yeah. Yes, and they used to be on one side of the street. Then they moved across the street, mm-hmm. and then they just completely like. Yeah, the last place I remember business. them being was on like the right side of like the on downtown Broadway. side on Broadway. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I remember. I remember that. On, yeah. I, damn, I think the last I remember was on the left hand. Oh, wait, right hand side. Wait, you yeah. when, if we're going downtown, right hand side. Right hand side. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a vent. I believe it's a no, no. They it's should, that. It's that a flea market big now. Ad, the flea market yeah. thing, that big they ass. It, yeah. That's it. Cr- oh but my. But those were, those were good times because that's mm-hmm. when I used to like, and I used to go to Soho like after school just to see like what was in the store. This before I even started working in retail. And then I just used to look at stuff, make a list of things that I wanted. And that like, you know, yeah. that was a good time. But now I just feel like, okay, so with the whole hype beast, cult, hype beast culture, like what are your thoughts? Um, I feel like 
I don't judge. Like okay. if you if you knew no for real. Like if you, you if you're new to something, because my thing is what really is the definition of a hype beast? Oh, because I feel like hmm. if you're just someone who is just being introduced to this. Mm-hmm. And you love it and you become obsessed with it. That's one thing. But then if it's, I I feel like, I guess you can consider a hype beast as someone who's not necessarily into it. You're just kind of getting it because it's popular and everyone else has it. Right? And you're forcing yourself to like it. Right. Mm -hmm. I I feel like maybe that's, that's what I can, like I consider a hype beast. Cause I feel like if you're, if it's something that you're just not familiar with and you coming into it, you're like, oh wait. I like this. And that's a fair then point. I gotta respect that, you right. know. What's that's your hype point. beast purchase? And don't sit here and lie to me. We all have a hype beast sneaker purchase. <laughs> what is yours? My hype beast purchase. Because I know mine's. Oh, I gotta think. Um, I'm trying to think, what would be my hype beast purchase? There has to be at least one hype beast sneaker purchase, for sure. I'm still trying to find I'm these sugar sneakers. I'm gonna say maybe one of my Supreme sneakers. Fair enough. So I um I collect I collect like basketball sneakers. Oh, I love basketball sneakers. So like, when you say basketball sneakers, like what do you mean exactly? Basketball like, style, like, basketball silhouettes. Yeah, yeah. like um, oh, okay. so like okay. when Supreme drops when they dropped the Bacon's, I made sure I had them. Mm-hmm. When um they dropped. The foams, the I mean the flights, okay, the ones with the paisley on yeah, them, yeah, yeah. like stuff like that. Did you I get feel the like Stussy um, pennies? No, uh-huh. and they're still available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I I ended up getting the like the original God. pennies. Oh, okay, but yep. um, Even better. <laughs> no, but like I feel like stuff like that is kind of like a hype beast purchase. I feel because I know that I could find a retro or a older silhouette. Mm-hmm. But I mean, the same shoe in an older model that is probably worth That's more fair. and I actually like more. Right, right, right. But because it's Supreme, you know, I'm like, I'm not going to lie. These, are, these yeah. are right. And then sometimes I have to like question myself, like, do I like this because it's Supreme yes. or do Did I really, just, really, I really like it? I just had that conversation. We always, we always, always talk about that. I think my hype, my hype beast sneaker purchase were the Aqua 8s. Yeah. I was not a fan of the Aqua 8s. I'm not a fan of them. Mm. But they were there. Everybody was dying for them, and it was sitting there retail. So it was like, why not? And I was like, I'll take them. Might as well. Might as well. I think that could be. I pretty. I know I have more. I'm not. I don't sit here and try to even lie to myself. I have a f- maybe about two more hype beast purchases, but I don't go hype beast to the point where I'm gonna force myself to like it. I'll say I'll go hype beast to the point where it wasn't a priority, but because I have okay. the access to it. I'm going to take them. I can agree with that because when I used to work for Nike, mm-hmm. um, a lot of things would still be available that people didn't know about. Mm-hmm. And it's like, well, I'm getting it on discount, so why not? Why like, not? Exactly. Like, like when um, I have a lot of like Sakai sneakers and- uh, You like, know, I love all of those sneakers. Yeah. And, and, I, and those and I would be them. my hype beast purchase. That was a <laughs> massage okay. yeah. moment right there. <laughs> massage you blood. Not that. <laughs> yeah. But like even stuff like that is like, I, I know I'm not going to really wear it this much, but- I I'm got them. I'm gonna get it, it just yeah. because I can. Like yeah. you know, there's certain like I feel like there's certain things where you just buy just for the fuck of the conversation. Like somebody be like, "Yo, you know, remember like, yeah, I got those." Yeah, I got like, those. yeah. Oh, I get that. That's mad funny. Do you have how many sneakers do you have? Do you know how many pairs you have? <laughs> um, I've gotten rid of sneakers, so it's so hard for me to let go of things. I just believe that in general, because like my sister in Christ. <laughs> no, like I like I like I said earlier, I feel like history repeats itself. So yes. I'm always thinking like, damn, if this comes back? I'm gonna be so mad if I don't like if I get rid of this. And the next thing you know, <laughs> that has happened to me too many times. Yeah. Um, I want to say right now, I might have like maybe in the threes, three hundred. I think so because oh, wow. I know like I could count over two something in my like in my crib but i also have sneakers in my it's, mom's shed oh i was gonna say do you have them in storage <laughs> no I, I have them in my mom's shed so yeah. Wow. yeah but i'm not gonna lie like if y'all saw my collection there's so many old sneakers like yeah. I'm, I'm gonna be honest i don't really buy sneakers like that now because mm-hmm. you don't I, have to it's that and i just feel like I'm, I'm gonna be really really honest like 
I feel like anything that's been releasing now doesn't wow me. It's I'm You're uninspired, yes. It, I'm does, uninspired. it doesn't I'm wow not... me. I can't remember the last time I really bought a sneaker and I'm like, I I had to have this sneaker. I feel like a lot of sneaker Can you are think saying of... that though. I'm trying to think. So my last sneaker purchase was, well, I'm not going to lie. My last sneaker purchase was um the Supreme Air Max 96s. Okay. I just wanted them, so I, I bought them. But I'm talking about as far as release, I can't remember the last sneaker I purchased. Like, I, I can't think of a, a release that, that, a recent one that I was like, nah, I have right. to have this. Like, if I don't have this, I'm, I'm low key gonna be tight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, or like I went out my way to make sure I, that you I got, got it. Like, I think it was hmm. the Sean Weatherspoon um, Sambas. I, you know, I don't care about Sambas. You know what's so crazy? I, those didn't even wow me. Really? I love those. The hemp ones, I love that green one, yeah. I, the one that I wore to the um Yeah, no, those, yeah. they're fire, yeah. but love even those out like it's one of those things like for me, it's I have to really f- be upset or disappointed mm-hmm. that I didn't get it. If if to I feel if that, I feel like okay. oh it's okay, then to me it's, it's it was whatever. Yeah. Do you feel like there's a this is an ongoing conversation that I'm seeing in a lot of sneaker communities and forums, a lot of platforms and forums? That Nike is really losing it, and how do you feel about that? Um, and it's not because of the last matter of fact. I'm gonna hear your answer, and I'll go back on it. I'd be careful with what I say because of who I work for. But um, (laughs) um, I feel like just someone coming from someone who used to work for Nike. I feel like a lot of times. The creativity doesn't well most all the, almost all the time the creativity doesn't come from them, mm. it's coming from other people on the outside. Like mm. so, when you lose that, when like anything else, when people start to see things for what it really is, right. and you lose that, who do you have to get inspiration from now? Mm-hmm. I and I feel to? like they're losing that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because now. And I'm I'm gonna I'm just gonna be real. Like a lot of the times they're inspired from African Americans, and a lot of our people are starting their own mm, mm. businesses and their own brands. Mm-hmm. So they're not working for companies like Nike anymore, or other sneaker mm. companies. They're working for themselves. So now, yeah. who are you getting inspiration from? Mm. Mm. It's harder. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you're not you're not under people and seeing like, oh, that was a good idea. Mm-hmm. Let's use that. Now yeah. it's like, where do we get that from? Because and using it and not giving credit. Exactly. Bingo. Because as we've seen over the past couple of years, they are collab heavy. Mm-hmm. I feel like most of their, all of their, damn near 90% of their profit now at this point is leaning solely on Travis Scott. He's literally carrying the whole Not company. Not carrying. I, I wouldn't even see, <laughs> say Travis. I feel like now they're trying to tap into designer brands, clothing brands. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and doing those collabs heavy and that puts you in a whole another bracket another yeah. bracket that's yeah. not even that sneakers a, that anymore that's that's a whole lifestyle change I'm still you know what I mean so I, I'm really upset about those those Tiffany um Air Forces those were a major letdown I, I'm not, nah I wanted them you I wanted was them disappointed. yeah but I had to see them on foot for me to fall in love with it and I okay. had to see them in person for me to be like which okay. which ones did you like. The black. The black. Okay. Yes. I don't like, I wanted them to do something. Dom, that was not, not going to hold you. You could have made a fire design <laughs> and <laughs> Nike could have tapped you and it would have been fire. What they put out for that Tiffany collection, I was so disappointed. I was like, that's it? Like, I wanted more. No, yeah. I just I, wanted more. But I feel like they fumble a lot. They do. That. When I used to work for them, um, this was a long, a long time ago. When I used to work for them, Serena Williams was dropping her line. With Nike. Mm-hmm. We didn't know it was for her at that time, but she was dropping something with Nike and they were asking people internally, like, if they wanted to apply. Mm-hmm. And the ideas people were giving, like, their decks and everything were amazing. Yeah. But then when the release came out, it was like... None of that. And this is what I'm saying. Like, I don't understand. and I, mm-hmm. And I just... I want us to really just, like, take our talents and go... 
elsewhere and build our own tables because one like the the things that we do come up with right they be mm-hmm. stolen and then when we decide okay let, let let's share let's collaborate and you still don't even take the opportunity to create greatness is i'm trying to understand <laughs> what's the point i feel like it's um it's a tough battle all the time because then the other part of it is resources Mm. Absolutely. Um, but Nike has the resources. Nike has. Nike them, but has the people, resources, but the. Oh, you mean like, okay, okay, yeah, that makes like, sense, but yeah. people who want to execute their ideas don't. Yeah, that's a fact. to an extent. Which leads me to my next question. Mm-hmm. We talk about blacks. We talk about creatives, and then we're talking about black creatives, and everything in this in this sphere. Um, how do you feel about what's the word that I'm looking for? As we see, there's an emergence of people dropping their own sneaker lines. Mm-hmm. A lot of different names dropping a lot of sneaker lines. We're not going to say any names. <laughs> okay. For respectful reasons. Not you being respectful. I'm being today. respectful. Wow. Because I would like to have them up as a guest one day. You okay. feel me? So I just want to know what, I'm not going to speak. That's my, fair. I want to speak. Fair. I want to know what, what, what our guests mm-hmm. feel about the situation. Okay. So it's a lot of controversy especially in the sneaker community due to the sampling of silhouettes, sampling of styles, putting twists on colors because we are now seeing sneakers, colors of sneakers being used that we would have found on 20, not 23 is back, what was coolkicks.com. Not cool, ooh, not <laughs> now cool being put on, <laughs> now, <laughs> y'all remember going fake Jordan no. website looking like, they don't want the white and patent leather orange um eights. Shit, them shits is tough. Them, them shits ain't never going to the black and purple 11s? Lord. Nah, crazy. Black and purple. God damn. Crazy. With the swoosh on the front. Okay. Yeah, so we're now seeing that enter into the sneakers into the, the sneaker sphere. How do you feel about that? And are you do you feel like there's a lack? We're asking, this is a two-part question, because we're asking for these sneaker companies to get we're asking the, our, us black people to use our use the resources that we have use our co- creative minds and create our own designs but we're literally using silhouettes of what we're trying to escape yeah no so how yeah. does that so how does that work? so we so put it to you like this so if i'm nike you're ashley Ashley, you have a design for me. I don't want your design. You say you're going to go off and make your own designs. You go off and make your own designs. Styles by Ashley. But Styles by Ashley is a pair of Adidas Sambas. Just missing three stripes. The silhouette. But I think that has a lot to do with just like... I don't think you can get away from that with certain things, if that makes sense to you, right? Because it's like it's like a pair of jeans. It's like a pair of jeans, right? Okay, you're gonna wear a pair of Levi jeans, but then another brand just made jeans. The silhouette is essentially the same, but something about the construction might be different, the color, the type of denim that you use. So when it comes to a sneaker, I feel like there are just certain silhouettes that are always going to be used. Now, what you do with the silhouette is a different story. But I don't know how you would get away from, I don't know how you would get away from that. Because a samba is like, that's, I don't think that that's a, I don't think that that's a complex silhouette. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's, a, it's not... super simple. So I can see someone wanting to make a classic sneaker being like, okay, like let's use this silhouette. Or, cause it's very similar to like, okay. The simplicity of a Stan Smith or a Common Project sneaker, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I, that's what I'm getting at. So, I don't know if it's necessarily the silhouette and more so like the actual design aspect, like what you do on that sneaker. Because like there are other brands who make tabbies. Tabby is a tabby, tabby is, is a, a you, you know what I'm saying? Like it's its own thing, yeah. but. Everybody, when you say tabby, they're gonna think Margella Margella. first. They're not gonna think about the other brands who make a tabby style shoe. Even Nike has one. Yeah, Nike has one. There's another brand who has one as well. But like, that's a you know what I'm saying. So that's that's how I'm going. Um, What's it? I I have mixed feelings about this. As you should. And the reason why is because I've watched people take a silhouette to to the T, 
um, and also some of the colors. Mm -hmm. But then I know people who, like, for example, are into architecture and things like that. And they're actually diving deep into, like, the function of a shoe. Mm -hmm. Like, the real breakdown of creating a shoe. Okay. So when I see stuff like that, it's not easy, but I feel like, no, it is possible for you to create your own silhouette. That's, that's not similar to a brand. But realistically, like that goes back to like the whole resources mm -hmm. aspect of it too, because not everyone's going to have access to that. Not everyone knows how to break down a shoe. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, the other thing is, if you are going to steal... I'm not even going to say still. If you are going to have a similar silhouette, almost identical, then I feel like if it were me, I'm just going to be humble about it. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like a lot of brands, they'll take similar silhouettes and then it's almost like they're fighting against the brands they're taking them from. Mm -hmm. And I don't understand that part of it. Man. If I'm Nike and you take a pair of Air Force Ones and put a flaming ball on it, <laughs> My brother, what are you doing? Because that's what I'm seeing. I'm literally seeing an Air Force One silhouette and a shooting rocket where the Nike mm -hmm. check should be. What are we doing? Uh, okay. You know? Okay, so when you when you say it like that now... Yeah, we're talking about like makes, to the T. That's what I'm like. Okay, that the makes more... It's, it's literally okay. the entire shoe. I don't like that. And you just take the check <laughs> and, and remove you it and make it something else. A, a flamethrower, like... Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. oh. Because you could have did a bit. You're not really doing work at this point. You know what I'm saying? Cause right. And that's that's what I mean. Replacing. It's like, but even yeah. colorway, but even with colorways, like what, 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 if you're just changing the colors, but keeping the silhouette, what are you really, that's nothing different from what you can do on Nike ID. Yeah. But that's the reason why I say I have like mixed emotions about it is because top brands do it to each other. But that's the thing, because if you look, you're going to go in these different brands mm -hmm. and compare, they have a lot of the same <laughs> silhouettes. I think at this yeah. point, it's just like, okay, these are your sneaker silhouettes. This is what you want. You want to create a sneaker? Pick from these silhouettes, unless you're going to, once again, create a whole new silhouette. If you have the resources to do so, yes. But like she said, most people probably don't, right? So now you're going to pick from your styles, and mm -hmm. then you're going to make a design. I hear that, but I feel like a lot of it is a money grab because you can look at a pair of Air Force Ones and you can look at a pair of Raph Simmons mm. and you can tell we are not of the same family. Yeah, that's mm. we can We are not of the same. You can, you can look at a pair of Y3s. Mm -hmm. I love Y3s. And know some the thought. The difference between a, a, yeah. a regular Adidas shoe. You can look at... They actually do a lot of... I feel of, like their technology... They, they, I feel like Y3 uses Y3 more... Y3 uses Japanese. Tech, they're using, yeah, they're they're using use Japanese architecture. And technology. And Japanese... Like, like, that's yeah. Japanese architecture. Yeah. That asymmetrical, that's their thing. And yeah. I love the way... I love the way they... They do their clothes. We spoke about this before. The way they structure their clothes and they do... Mm -hmm. If you look at a pair of Y3 shoes, you can probably take it... Go to Tokyo and hold it up next to a building and be like, ah. Mm -hmm. No, I agree. <laughs> and, that, and that's what I mean, though. Like, I appreciate that so much because yeah. it's like you're putting the oh. work in to be different. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, you're actually saying, like, no, I don't want my stuff to look like a Nike shoe or a Samba or whatever it is. I right. want people to know, like, okay, this is... Which my brand, brand yeah. and like when you see a Y three sneaker, you know it's Y three. You, you know it's Y three. You, you, you don't know. ever get the opportunity to compare it to somebody to something else. So nobody That's tell me true. we're trying to put the. I'm trying to put we. Oh, the sneaker community trying to ban a black man or ban a black woman or put down a black man and black. What are you doing? Are you hit? Tell me one thing about me. Don't sell me a six four nine. If you're telling me this is a money grab, I need some money. You did something outside of what somebody, you're not panhandling. You actually put some foot in and you had to put up your own leverage, some of your own money to actually do something, to come up with something, to get some money. Mm -hmm. You came up with a plan to get some money. Don't sit here and tell me this is something innovative. Mm -hmm. Don't bullshit me. Don't feed me bullshit. I agree. Don't tell me this is innovative. I, did, I was just, the Lord came to me in the middle of the night and he said, <laughs> put a goddamn orange on the back of the check. And I said, yes, Jesus, I'm going to do it. <laughs> No. No, I, I agree with that. And I feel like when it comes to that, people aren't honest with themselves. Yeah, exactly. They, they get mad at the backlash that they get from these brands. And it's like, honest. you're only feeling that way because this is a a real brand. Like right. I hate to say it like that. And yeah. you're taking it from them. Because 
if it was the other way around, it would be a problem. But it's it's it just it's, it's so simple. All you have to do is say, "I was inspired by X, Y, and Z." This is my interpretation of that, right? Because you would mm -hmm. eliminate a whole lot of bullshit just by saying you were inspired. People just want the credit. They just want to know that you're not straight up stealing and plagiarizing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's why I'm like, like, like use your words. Yeah. Use your words. And Humble make pie will get you so far. Yo, listen, man. I grew up loving. I grew up loving the 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 the. the I don't know a damn shoe. I I grew up loving DC sneakers. Mm. I always loved DC sneakers. I love. I was a skateboarder. I loved the sole. I loved the. I loved how chunky the laces were. I thought they were so cool. So I took these and I just added my own little bigger ribbon. I decided to do a double lace on that. And then I said, you know, maybe I want to put this on it. And I always wanted more colors that can match my deck. So. I knew at the time DC didn't have the sneakers to match my deck, so I decided to get this is the colorway for my very first deck, everybody. The air bras. <laughs> you feel me? No, yeah, and they'll respect and it's crazy because when people do stuff like that, it makes them want to work with you. I make That's you 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 make yeah. yourself you know I mean? human. Like, you yeah. I dreamed. Yeah. I thought of something outside the box. Mm -hmm. I dreamed, but no. Fuck you mean I can't take this. Man. What you mean I can't take your design, Tinker? That's crazy. What are we getting at? What are we talking about? Yeah, no, I I definitely agree with that. You know, Dom, I wish we could have you for another hour. <laughs> Don't say that because that wish always we could ends have up happening. You for another hour, but we do have to end the episode. I just want to say thank you for coming up. Of course, thank you guys for having Bye. me. Before this we leave, conversation. So Before we leave, you got to give us. Your t all time top three favorite sneakers. Oh, yes. I want to hear that. And we're going to leave it at that. I don't even want to have a closure. Ooh. Just leave it at that. Mic drop? Mic drop. Like just yeah. silhouette or like actual shoe? Actual shoe. Okay. Names if possible. I got you. I'm going to say. Oof, that's hard. Okay. I'm going to go with the purple flights. You remember the one? Oh, with the zipper? With the zipper. Jesus. <laughs> I, no, all the Eggplant? I, yes. Whoa. Oh. I love those. You really was in DC <laughs> for real. <laughs> Don't do that to me. No, I, I told you, I, I really love like mm. certain silhouettes. I love, it's the silhouette itself. I, I know that's so random. I know that's so, so random. <laughs> Bruh. Um, another one is the Red Octobers. Okay. Oh, okay. The, I, I, I fumbled on those. those real bad. You had a chance. Yeah, I'll never forget We're that. We're not even going to get in there. Um, yeah, that's a whole nother story. I, I fumbled on those really, really bad. That's when, I'm talking about when they like did the drop on Twitter and all that. Mm. Yeah. Um, And then for a third, I'm going to say, I'm I'm trying to think of a more, re mm. I'm going to go with, because I still have mine, the Rick Owens Adidas collab. Rick Owens Adidas collab. Remember, and they had the mohair. Owens Adidas oh, collab. And they had the mohair. Yes. yes, 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 yes. Adidas collab. Yes, yes. okay. Yes, okay. I, love those. I remember those. I'm, I'm, I'm always like a fan of like funky shoes. Same. So I like, like anything, Y3, like back then, Jeremy Scott's, like all that stuff. Those were my. Oh, Jeremy Scott. You I, have know what? I, have, I, have I have all my pairs. I have all my wings. I still got all mine. I still got my leopard print joints with the tail. I still wear them. I love the wings. The wings are always that I need. I might actually trade Jeremy Scott's for the flights, actually. <laughs> oh my god we would like to thank y'all for tuning in to another episode of the just go podcast yes, it's yes. your boy the bro man from the fifth floor alongside the lovely status local yes. and we're out